Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets and today I have a few tips and recommendations for you if you have been experiencing issues with your Silhouette library or Silhouette account. Now, first thing I would say is grab something to drink. I am going to try and make this quick, but I don't know. And you might need something a little bit stronger than just coffee. Let's just get into it. I do have some notes here that I want to be able to share everything with you and not forget anything. So the first thing I want to say is that there are still issues. Now, if you are watching this sometime in the future and the issues are resolved and there are no problems, yes, we have been waiting for this. But for most people right now, as I record this video, we are on day 70 of this website migration. And what I can tell you is we have gone back and forth. There are still issues. The issues are different for all users because everybody's account is different. My account is different than your account. In that, I have more files than the average user or account issues on the back end, email addresses, all kinds of stuff. So there are a lot of different factors that play into this and there is not one fix. Believe me, I have tried them all. I have tested them all. I have tried my Facebook group to test some things. One thing might work for one user, but it doesn't work for another user. So there is no all around fix at this moment when I record this video. That's why I'm going to share some tips with you. So my first one is if your library is showing you most of your files, great. I would say celebrate that right now because I would strongly encourage you to check the working offline. So here is my library. It has taken weeks for it to even show this. I made the mistake of testing for someone and signing out to sign back in and everything was gone. It's, it's still out there. It's still in the database, the cloud, but something is not connecting between this website migration. So the server, it's not talking properly between the servers, but also between our own accounts. So, and that's every single account is a little bit different. So here's my library. As you can see, I have most of my files have shown. Again, this is through many, many, trying many different things. It's showing right now. It actually, amazingly, as I'm saying this video, has a green check mark that says synced. For the last two days, it has been continuously syncing and has not changed. I do still have files that show download failed. I am not going to worry about those. I will report them. I have reported all the issues throughout this entire thing to Silhouette directly. I'm not gonna worry about these. I will make a list. I'm sure something is the reason. If those files aren't available on the design store or some reason, I will eventually get those back. I, I feel strongly that eventually everything is going to settle out. It's just a matter of when. Now, I can tell you that this file count up here is not right. I tested some files yesterday to get the free downloads and purchased a couple to see if they would sync into my library. They did not. I don't know why. I will have to do more testing with this. For now, what I'm recommending is if your library is showing, and you can use this right as, as an example at my library right now, I'm going to click this little button or this little arrow here. It's going to bring up a menu, and I'm going to check the box next to work offline. Even if your library says working offline, if this little box is not checked, it's not truly working offline. And then what that means is that it's not going to try to sync every few seconds. I have noticed since the migration, the libraries are syncing continuously. And that is also causing issues with the pull from the servers. So it, every time somebody tries to sync their library, that's another user trying to get, data is trying to get collected. If your library is showing, I highly recommend that you choose work offline. Cross your fingers if you take it out of that mode and you try to sync the library. I am seeing all kinds of behaviors. My library stayed, but the new files did not sync up. I've seen other users who've lost it all again. We are seeing things go back and forth. So if you do get it back, I would recommend staying at working offline. If you purchase files from the Silhouette Design Store, then I would highly recommend you direct download those for right now to use those files. 
Newer files that you purchase are easier to find in those downloads. There's very limited ways to direct download from the Silhouette Design Store. For instance, I have 15,000 plus files. I can't access all of those through the Design Store, even with the direct download. It's just, it's pretty much impossible right now. But I have other ways that you might be able to access those. So first off, working offline. If you see a majority of your files show as download failed, or you cannot access your account at all, you cannot sign in, you get the syncing where it's trying to talk to the server, you cannot log into the Silhouette Design Store, any and all account issues have to go through Silhouette support. I have the email in the description below. You have to contact Silhouette support. It will take them time to respond and their responses are hit or miss. The best thing you can do is provide as detailed information as possible and photos to explain what you are trying to convey to that customer service agent for them to be able to understand what your exact issue is. Since all of these user issues are different, if you send an email to Silhouette Support that says, I can't sign in, well, you know, that's going to take time back and forth until they get some information that they need in order to figure out why you can't sign in. So there is a lot of, if you can provide the most information as possible when you send in your emails, it will help hopefully get it resolved faster. Not all issues can be resolved as I record this video. It's just what we're seeing. And this video is not candy coated. I am just going to lay it out how it is. When you contact Silhouette Support, you need to provide as many details as possible, include photos, and keep in mind they are a customer service agent. It is not their fault. They cannot fix every single issue. They have to investigate and find out why. And in some cases, that issue needs to then be sent on to another representative who has access that can access that data to be able to look into the back end to figure it out. So if your library does not show at all, send an email to Silhouette Support with the information and then you can go from there on what they have suggested. You can try it and see if it works. What I'm seeing them recommend doesn't work for all users. Like I said before, there really does not seem to be a fix that fixes it for everyone. It is a mess. That's all there is to it. Again, not sugarcoating this. I will also include a link down below on three ways that you can still use your Silhouette software and your cutting machines without the Silhouette library. So you can still use your software and everything for almost all users. There are a few cases where they run into something that isn't working properly, but it's not all. For the majority of users, you can still use your software and your machines. If you need your files out of your Silhouette library or your user designs that you saved to your Silhouette library, there is a way that is working. I will link that in the description below to be able to extract your library. It will only work on a computer that you have previously synced your Silhouette library to. If you got a brand new computer during this entire process or you never synced your library to that computer, it will probably not work for you. But I will link that below. You can try that. You can read the instructions, follow the instructions very carefully and see if that will work for you. Do not import files back into the Silhouette library at this time. Any file that you import or any file that you save to the Silhouette library yourself counts against your cloud storage. It is also not going to, I would not guarantee that when all of these sync issues are 100% finalized, that it will be there when your library syncs properly again. Because right now there are connection issues and it cannot talk properly to the Silhouette library and the servers. So anything you save or import to your library, cross your fingers and hope it's there later. I would highly recommend that you develop your own outside storage system right now. If you have one, great. If you don't, now is the best time to start one. I use an external hard drive. I actually use two now. 
and I use one as my daily working hard drive, and then I use the other as a backup. And I back up several times a month now because I did not follow my own advice, and I lost nine months of data, blog post tutorials, classes, everything. All of the information that I had worked daily on for nine months, I lost. It was my own fault, but it was very, very depressing. So now I back up at least once a week, I would say. Anytime I think about it, I back it up. But you can control your files. You can control where those are at. Yes, I understand that the Silhouette Library, I, I feel the same way. Having the files in the Silhouette Library is very, very convenient. But if you think about it, that is very unique to Silhouette itself. Any other site that you purchase a design from, you have to download it. You have to store it. So it is not uncommon in this day and age to have to store your own files. The Silhouette Library has been very unique and for all these years, 15 plus years that Silhouette has been around, the cloud has not been around that long, but for all those years, we have gotten used to the files in the library and being able to see these nice thumbnails that show the finished project, all of that, it's very convenient and I understand that. And I agree, I like to be able to go into my library and just click the button. But especially in this time that we are in where everything is just messed up, being able to access those, those files from an outside source is a great alternative. And I would highly recommend that you start thinking about that for your future. So I will have additional tips on backups in the description of the video below. Now, if you encounter an error when you go to the Silhouette Design Store website or silhouetteamerica.com, that is normal. Um, right now, we are seeing, like this last weekend, when, from the time I record this video, we, there was issues with the design store for three days over the weekend. Monday, it was back magically back to normal. Monday night, there were issues again. And the second time, it showed as working or under maintenance. So if you do get a error such as this, I have no idea what this error actually means. Something is wrong. The website is down. It's going to be down for everyone. It's not picking on particular users. A easy, quick way you can test that is to use another device to try to access the design store, the same exact website that you're trying to, to access. If another device has the same error, chances are it's down for everybody or you can try another web browser as well. If you get the same error twice or three times, then that is probably happening for everybody. Even if the home page loaded, so when I went to test it, the home page loaded, I didn't think there was anything wrong, but when I went to log into my account, that's when I got the errors. So if you are seeing that during this entire transition, I have no idea how long it's going to take. We are on day 70, and if you get the error in this time window time frame over the next few months, it is chances are they are working on the website. It is not ideal, but it's we have no control over it. So I'm trying to give you some things that you do have control over. On that note, you have control over learning to design in the Silhouette Studio software yourself. There's lots of tutorials. I will link my website down below. I have a tutorials since 2016 on how you can design and create and learn how to use tools in the Silhouette Studio software. I have step-by-step -step classes that I will also link to in case you are interested in learning how to design more. When you design your own files, save them outside the Silhouette Studio software. Save them to an outside location, develop a storage system. That is the biggest thing I can stress right now is to start saving your own files. So you can start by learning to create your own files every one can be a designer. I really feel that that's why I teach. I've been teaching since 2016. And the reason I continue to teach is that every single person can be a designer. You may not be designing the Mona Lisa. Well, I can't design that. But all designing is think of a beginner drawing book. It is putting shapes together to make something new. Everyone can be a designer and the biggest factor is learning how to use the tools in the software to get them to do what you want to do. So I think all users can do it.
The other thing I would highly encourage is to follow your favorite designers outside of the Silhouette Design Store. If you are deciding that you are going to shop somewhere else, but you have favorite designers in the design store, or you see some files that you really like, click on them, wait for the pages to load, and then try to find those designers somewhere else. This migration has affected all of us. No one had control. We had very short notice before this happened, including the designers. This was not their choice. This was not their fault. The website can be difficult. The Silla Design Store can be difficult to shop right now, and it requires a lot of patience to get things to load. It is not the same right now as it once was. Hopefully down the road when everything is fixed and all of this is behind us, it will be back to normal. But those designers could really use your support in finding them and if you want to get their files from the other locations. Most of them have other ways that you can shop with them as well. You can also reach out to them and see how else you could support them. So the whole thing is one gigantic mess. But please keep in mind, the people who are trying to help or trying to see what is working right now or giving you steps that worked for them and seeing if it works for you, they are trying to help. None of us are in control of it. We have to wait for the website migration company to get their act together and get all of this data that is the, included in the Silhouette software and the user account information all talking to each other properly. Your customer service agents, your marketing department that you see on social media, yelling at them and sending nasty messages or threats to them is not going to help. They are not the ones trained in fixing the things on the back end of things. Just like any other business, there are multiple departments and that is what they depart, they specialize in and work on. So if you go to your mechanic, you do not want your receptionist working on your car and fixing it for you. Just something to keep in mind. I was, it has been a long 70 days. I have been cussed at, I have been yelled at, I have been just um, raked over the coals. All of us have that are trying to help. So I hope those tips have helped. You can leave comments below. If you do have additional questions, I will try to help you. But right now, as I record this video, there is not a fix for everything. And any account issues, you do need to go through Silhouette Support and just continue to give them the information that they need. Continue to respond back when that customer service agent responds to you through that email. If you start a new email, it starts you all the way back at the beginning of the queue. So let me know if you have any questions below. Check out the description of the video for additional information and links. And I hope you will learn more about designing in the Silhouette Studio software. And have a great day. Thanks for joining me.